Here I am in Athens, Greece for night one of the Erotic Art Festival. These events are so special to me because I not only get to meet my international fans, but I get to travel and sightsee. Kay and I arrived two days early so we could get in a day to kind of acclimate ourselves with our surroundings and to map out all the places that we wanted to see while we were here. It's an honor to be an American star and be invited to other countries. So I very seldom say no when I get these opportunities. And when they come to me, it's a little bit of magic, not just for me, but for you as well, because it's where I get to do my best tour guide actions and show you all the places that I want to see and make believe that you're right there with me. All of these things are always available on my social media and YouTube. And I like to give the disclaimer that all of my accounts are the same at the real Lisa Ann. I'm sure that I'm going to meet some great fans here in Greece and I can't wait to share behind the scenes and more stories with you as this all unfolds. Night one, four nights I'll be at this show. I'm sure a lot's going to happen. Thanks for joining me. It is day two of the Erotic Art Festival and day one of actually sleeping in in Athens. It was nice just not set an alarm clock, but we'll be out sightseeing and gallivanting again tomorrow. Interesting fun facts I learned last night, other than the fact that there are a lot of people here named George. There were quite a few names that I couldn't spell, so I had these little cards and would have then write their name out so I could properly sign their autograph. And then I use those cards as like my crib sheets, right? Remember those little notes in school? And somebody would say a name that sounded very familiar. 
and I hold them up and they point to it and that was the name. I've met a lot of people who speak really good English and a lot of people who absolutely speak no English, which kind of makes it easy for me because I don't have to do the stop and chat. Where we're facing at the venue and looking out into the crowd and there's a stage over here where, where girls are performing, there's also some beautiful old structures that I see from my point of view and it's incredibly unique to be at a venue and then be looking at this history and that fresh air and the summer flow in Athens. It's been incredible. Day two, here we go. I am just so happy that I get to do these shows, especially the tour guide stuff that I get to share with you. I'm continuously dropping stuff on my social media as well as on my YouTube channel, The Really Sam, right here, but also staying with my drafts. So I'm in this mindset and then boom, I do my draft for best ball on fan tracks with all of my people in the fantasy sports community and get to do a little catching up of like what it's like in Athens while I'm in a draft because I do them on YouTube live. It's been a ton of fun. Let's get this party started, day two. It was something in the air their love life and their relationship. And there was one really cute couple that came through yesterday and he had just introduced her to me about a month ago. So now they're watching me together and she came up and she was blushing and we did a photo and it was so incredibly cute. But it's special, it's special to know the purpose to enhance a relationship as opposed to just that solo act for whatever purpose that may be. A lot of women at this show as well, just coming in with their girlfriends and taking photos, which has been very cool. And I'm loving all of it. So there's an incident, uh, you will be seeing a clip. It's a clip of don't be that guy. I've become really good at sensing people's presence around me, their energy, their vibration, what their intention is. And I can tell how someone looks at me or if they look through me. And when they look through me, I feel like they have the right to be aggressive with me and that for some reason they're entitled to touch me. So when a guy or a girl, anybody comes up to my group to get a photo with me, comes up on my stage area, I grab their hand, I put it here. It's easier here because when somebody does it up here, sometimes a watch will get caught in my hair. Like there's all these little things. So that's always been the easiest. It's neat. It gives me the option to hold the hand right there, get in for a nice pose and I feel safe and secure. If out of the corner of my eye, I see a hand reaching over from over here, I know to block that hand. This hand's being held and it makes me feel safe. A lot of times, guys grab very hard and they'll grab so hard my back will crack. I've left events and had bruised ribs for two months. So I have to be the regulator of, they grab me, they wanna pull me, because they wanna feel my body on their body. And as soon as I sense that, I kind of duck in with my feet, know that I'm gonna pull out. Last night, guy comes up, he grabs me so hard, I hear my back crack, 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 pulls me in and as I'm trying to loosen his grip, I bend his finger back a little bit to kind of get his attention. I'm like, loosen up. As I look over to say loosen up, I see his head coming. He was definitely planning on face planting his head into my breast. 
which I was not having that. You're going to see in this little clip. And I just, oh, hockey chucked him off. It was like a Derrick Henry stiff arm going for that touchdown in the end zone. Just on. And I just kept about my day. But it's a message to don't be that guy. There's no need for it. I'm here to take photos, to meet everybody, and to say hello. But this has never been a contact sport for me. And I'm keeping it that way. It is day three at the Erotic Art Festival in Athens, Greece, and I will say this has been a fantastic trip. I am meeting so many incredible people. I've learned quite a few things about the people in Athens. First of all, so many of the women speak incredible English, and I've had so many female fans and couples. Last night there were so many couples, and it was just great to meet them all. Someone even brought their baby, a very baby baby, a little tiny baby. They had headphones on the baby, so the baby was sleeping like a baby, which is, I guess, a great way to noise train your kid. A little bit more sightseeing today, but it's a Sunday, so a lot of things are closed in Athens. So we wandered around a really cool flea market. There were some new things and some very ornate things, just like tchotchkes to look through, people to watch, and it was great. And tonight, I go back again. It is night three, yes, tomorrow is night four. And I'll tell you what, I have not looked up once and seen not a line. That many people incredibly excited to meet me. Talk to me about a couple different things. Those who do speak English bring up the other things that I'm involved in, my sports stuff, my books, my podcasts, and of course, the incredible travel content created by Kay. So it's been cool to know that there's a connection made that carries out into all the different vehicles that I share on my social platforms. And it makes me really happy to know that the people that live here are excited to see me exploring their beautiful city, soaking in the history, learning some facts, and having a great time doing it. So into another place and you meet nothing but strangers but by day two they're your people because they're driving you they're taking you places and they're with you at the booth you get hella connected to people so the last night is always making sure we've all exchanged contact information instagram accounts ways that we can keep in touch and it's almost sad because these are the only people we know in this place though Kay has been able to go out and make friends Kay met friends at Pride that were there at the show. Kay and I were at dinner. Kay had a fan approach. That was really amazing. They made a great connection. I got to take some photos. Uh, but the last night is always a little bit emotional. It's bittersweet. Like, I really look forward to going home. But when you're on the road, you kind of get thrown into this space where this is all you know for that period of time. And it's almost jarring when you think about going back. And like, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to go back. And I have this. And I have that. And so it's like all that adjustment feels like you're on vacation, even though you're working, but you still have to go back to reality, even though you've been living reality. So it's a strange dynamic, but it's very exciting. Today I recorded uh, the episode for this week, which is going to be like Switzerland. So a little international podcast episode. I've been doing my drafts every day on fan tracks while I'm here. So I've been keeping myself kind of like in it while over here doing this. And it's been awesome. So many nice fans here at Grace. So many beautiful women have come to speak with me and speak great English. 
and just a unique environment being like half inside, half outside. It rained last night. These showgirls were so on stage dancing and it was raining. People were standing out there and it was raining. Nobody here really complains. They just enjoy the moment. I've really enjoyed being in the moment with them. Why don't we say that it's too late for us now? Why do we stay when I blame you for the things that weigh me down? Next country, who knows where it'll be next, but I know you'll be coming.